downtown Midland landscape is looking a whole lot different these days with the construction of the East End Development Project and the Buttle Street office building going up. Once a building comes down on Main Street, that landscape will really change. By November, the landscape around the Midland County Courthouse will look a lot different as demolition of the 1958 jail and sheriff's office space is demolished. Midland County Facilities Manager Kevin Beeson is overseeing the project. When we uh, opened the new jail in 2009 out on Fast Ice Drive, most of this facility became uh, vacant space that was uh, unused to the county as a uh, former jail. Now the front area that we're looking at here, formerly the friend of the court, it was long, narrow. We had some space available on the fourth floor of the county service building. Our goal really was to empty this out so we could tear all of this down. Um, that was everything except the addition, or yeah, the addition from the uh, back side of the courthouse. We began uh, demolition, uh, asbestos removal and whatnot a couple weeks ago. They've started actual demolition this week. We should be all done with uh, the demolishing part probably in about three weeks, getting the site restored, grass planted. We expect to be all done by 1st of November. And don't be alarmed by all that heavy equipment. The original courthouse structure built in 1926 and part of the state and national register of historic places will be unharmed. Great care is being taken around that end of the building. Yeah, what we did when we uh, wrote the specs and uh, ended up with the uh, beer line companies as our demolition contractor, we asked them to perform a uh, slicing operation that they've done here in the, in the roof of the structure and all the way down through uh, both layers below. And what that will do is provide for some demolition on the one side, on the other side we'll do a complete uh, deconstruction where they send manpower in piece by piece, pull it apart, being very uh, gentle and cautious with the historic courthouse that uh, clearly is remaining. Midland County received generous support from the community to help cover the costs of the $2.8 million project. Again, the reason that we were able to do this now was through the generous support of three of the local foundations. We received $700,000 each from the uh, Herbert H. and Grace A. Dow Foundation, the Rollin Gerstocker Foundation, and also the Dow Chemical Company Foundation. Those three contributions were mixed with an additional $700,000 from the county's general fund to make it a, a $2.8 million project. And while one building is coming down, the new Veterans Memorial is being constructed in virtually the same location. Uh, the Veterans Memorial came down last year on uh, just after uh, Veterans Day in November. It was our intent to have this uh, decommissioned long before they got around to it. As things go and time takes, it took a little longer than we'd hoped. Uh, we've worked closely with, uh, again, the beer line companies and with all the volunteer companies that have reconstructed the uh, Veterans Memorial. We're confident that we're fine. Uh, the biggest thing that we're trying to back up against is have them both done at about the same time. It looks like that's going to work and it sure, clearly will be done in time for Veterans Day of this year. Once the demolition is complete, visitors will see the courthouse as it was originally built in 1926 with lots of green space area and no plans at this time for future development.